For breakfast, I'm doing breakfast. I'm doing a load of mushrooms. A load of kale. Wait, I'm gonna give that to the bunny. And three egg bites. And ketchup. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday. It's okay. It's Tuesday, March 7th. I'll take official right before my breakfast. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, 8.13. I take fish oil because my husband says... It doesn't make coffee. Fish oil does not make coffee. What does it do? Why do I take this? <laughs> Why do I take this? I'm a slave to trends. I'm a slave to trends. <laughs> True. <laughs> from my understanding, it might be wrong, but the food, the fats from the food that I'm about to eat, my body won't, it will take the fish oil fat instead of the food that I'm about to eat fat. So it's just healthier for your body. Is that correct? Kind of, yeah. That's kind of correct. <laughs> so, that's my understanding from it, and that's why I take fish oil. And I'm going to take some V8s. Not V8 Splash. Oh, you can't see shit. V8 Original. And this is my breakfast. Tomatoes, mushrooms, kale, and egg whites. And catch up. Hi YouTube. So this video, I'm outside right now. This video is going to be super difficult to say. Um, I totally, totally binged uh, for lunch. I overate. I extremely overate. I don't know why. And I think the only reason that I could think is because I didn't plan ahead. I didn't know what I should eat and so I started eating mindlessly eating to the point where I couldn't I didn't even realize what I was what was going on and it gave myself a headache it was crazy how I'm addicted to food for lunch I just what did I have it started out with like a whole sleeve of crackers those like soup crackers Okay, so that's like 400 calories right there. I did the whole entire thing. And I was like, okay, that's just going to be my lunch because, oops, you know. Then I made uh, two packets of oatmeal. I had that. I had like a third of a cup of rice with ketchup on it. I don't know why. And then I ate, uh, this is super embarrassing, but I have to admit it. I have to tell the truth. I ate two, like those chocolate puddings I don't fucking know why I really don't know why I'm getting myself a headache to the point where I took a nap I just woke up from my nap so I look like shit but um I just gotta learn from my mistakes for dinner I'm gonna try to not eat anything but I'm, that's I gotta be realistic and continue eating I am going to make myself some vegetarian burgers um, with some brown rice, throw some pickles and ketchup in there, or hot sauce, I don't know. We'll see what I make for dinner, but I definitely already have the burgers out, so that's what I'm making for dinner, the vegetarian burgers, for myself, for my family, they get sausage and macaronis, I think. But yeah, I'm super disappointed in myself, I'm really, really upset about it. Wow, I really look a hot mess, but um... All I can do is just move on and accept it. I admit what happened. You know, like I overate, I binged. And I uh, wish I didn't. I really wish I didn't. I ate to the point I got a headache, like a severe headache. And I took like two ibuprofens. Uh oh. Took like two ibuprofens and took a nap. I was just really upset with myself. All I can do is move on, right? I mean, I couldn't stop myself from eating. I don't know what the hell that was about. Comment below if you ever had that happen to you and what 
you do to prevent it or when you see yourself have fun doing it because I really didn't like it. It's not something that I want to do ever again, you know. Big mistake on my part and I really regret doing it. Hey guys, okay, so my dinner is going to be these um, veggie burgers. I'm having two. There's some ketchup and pickles. I'm eating on a bread because I'm like really pissed off about today. Uh, yeah. That's what I cooked for my boys. It's some macaroni. It's like brats and macaronis, but I'm eating that. And tomorrow I hope to make some lentils. So there's that. Okay. Bye. Good morning, YouTube. I'm super disappointed in myself because of yesterday's binge. Um, I'm not gonna let it... Usually, I would give up and just be like, fuck it. Um, I weighed myself this morning, 234. It's a lot of weight. A lot of weight being that I was 228 at my lowest. I'm really upset. My husband says, I told him this morning... Um, that I binged yesterday and he's like well that's definitely because you're not eating a lot of calories so your body's really hungry which makes sense but I'm just extremely upset at the fact that I had no control over it you know like I legit it was so weird and I was watching myself doing it and I was okay with it I don't know it was a really weird feeling um I'm gonna focus on not being like that anymore. I am going to continue to try to do this. I've been overweight my whole life. Enough is enough, like I'm really sick and tired of it. I am going to achieve my goal, whether it takes two months, two years, a decade, I am going to put effort in it every day. Yesterday I still worked out. I did squats and I did um, arms. Yeah, so on that note, I'm still going to vlog what I eat today. Not on this video, probably be on tomorrow's video. Stupid. Because I binged for lunch, like I just ate whatever I wanted for dinner. Which is really stupid. I mean, I still didn't eat cheese. I didn't put any cheese on it. It was just ketchup and a bun. But still, the bun wasn't necessary. I really felt like it was, but it wasn't. I didn't have to eat the bun. Um, yeah, I don't have much other than saying that, that I'm really disappointed in myself. I definitely need to get my motivation back. Because this isn't right, and this is not how I want to live my life. I really don't. I want to be active. I want to be in... I don't want to be afraid of fucking breaking furniture if I sit on it that's such a scary feeling for me like when I go to somebody's house especially one that I've never been to before I go and I try it and I'm like oh I'll stand because I'm literally afraid I might break your furniture like confessions right now like talking to myself thinking out loud super heartbreaking I'm ready to change that 